We gather here to unite these two people in marriage. Their destiny and their decision to marry has not been entered into lightly. And today they have publicly and will publicly declare their private devotion to each other. The essence of this commitment is to accept each other in entirety as a lover, companion, and friend. A good and balanced relationship is one which neither person is overpowered nor absorbed by the other. One in which neither person is possessive of the other. One in which both, both give their love freely and without jealousy. Marriage, ideally, and to these two very beautiful, beautiful people, is the sharing of responsibilities and hopes and dreams. It takes a special effort to grow together, survive hard times, and to be loving and unselfish. In a reading now that I am very, very pleased. This poem was created for Robin and Jessica, and it gives me great pleasure to read this on behalf of Joni, who Jessica lovingly calls Boxy. She not only is one of their closest friends, she also happens to be the lovely wife of our bride's father. The poem, the story, is as follows. Your love for all time. Breathless kisses, burning touches, Soft-spoken words of love, urgently spoken words of passion, a man and a woman. One complete love since time began, predestined to be as one. You've been together before in other lifetimes. You've fought dragons and have been from, and you've been torn from each other's arms, yet your love prevailed. You walked on this earth many times together, perhaps for a moment, perhaps for years, but your heart is one heart and you too were meant to be. So when your time on earth once again comes to a close, have no worries, my children, for you will find each other again and again and again. For your love is ageless, eternal, a love for all time. I love you both, Joni. Thank you, Joni. <coughs> At this point, our ceremony, 
we exchange public vows. To both of you, do you pledge to share your lives openly with one another and to speak the truth in love? Do you promise to honor and tenderly care for one another, cherish and encourage each other, stand together through sorrows and joys and hardships and triumphs for all the days of your life? Jessica, Robert, his answer, we do. We do. Do you pledge to share your love, the joys of your marriage with all those around you so that they may learn from your love and be encouraged to grow in their own lives? Jessica, Robert, we do. I now ask Jessica and Robin to share their personal vows with us, their very, very beautiful vows together. Robin, today I take you to be no one other than yourself. I promise to love you above all others. I promise to be there when you need me. When life seems easy, or when it seems hard, I will be there to comfort you and encourage you, to help you reach your goals, to be your biggest fan and your bestest friend. When I look down the path of our tomorrows, I know that we will walk it together, hand in hand, and side by side. Everything I am, and everything I have is yours from this present moment for eternity. to love you above all others. I promise to be there when you need me, when life seems easy or when it seems hard. I will be there to comfort you and to encourage you, to help you reach your goals, to be your biggest fan and your bestest friend. When I look down the path of uh, tomorrow, I know we will walk it together, hand in hand, side by side. Everything I am and everything I have is yours, from this present moment on and for all eternity. May these rings be blessed as a symbol of your union. As often as they, as often as either of you look upon these rings, may you not only be reminded of this moment, but also the vows that you have made and the strength of your commitment to each other. It was shown to the group as to be one, two of you as one. Robert, please repeat after me. I, pro I Robert, promise to love and support you, Jessica. I, Robert, promise to love and support you, Jessica. And live each day with kindness. And live each day with kindness. Understanding. Understanding. Truth, humor, and passion. Truth, humor, and passion. With this ring. With this ring. I do that. I do that. Well, please press the ring. <laughs> Understanding the truth. Understanding the truth. Humor and passion. Humor and passion. <laughs> With this ring, I do. With this ring, I do. Drop it. Do it. Do it. You heard it. I 
told you, one unique. <laughs> Jessica and Robert, your family, your member, your members of your of your family, family themselves and friends, many of whom were here today, have all been part of your individual lives, shaped your hopes and dreams, your triumphs, your sufferings. But at this point, the two of you met. At some point, at that point. It was just not the way you've met anyone else before. The two of you have a way of sharing with each other, laughing and joking. <laughs> joking together that is unlike anyone else. This special love you felt with one another will and can continue to grow, bringing you to this moment and moments forever. When you're committed to love, your love to one another, and building a life together, as a symbol of the spirit that has grown between you. I'd now like to move to our unity candidate. Jessica Robert, life is filled with many actions. <coughs> actions that speak to us in deeper meanings than than words can ever pronounce or say. We have used ancient symbols in this wedding ceremony today, such as the exchange of rings and the clasping of hands as you join together. <clears throat> I would like each one of you to take a candle. And together, you will light the one larger candle. This is a vivid reminder that in loving marriage, in a loving marriage, our lives are merged even as we remain individuals. This is a symbolic prayer that God will enhance your own special personhood and bless your own uniqueness as individuals, but that God will also make your hands one hand, your hearts one heart, and your lives one life. Jessica and Robert, please light the center candle. These two lighted candles symbolize your separate lives, your separate families, your separate set of friends. Now that you've set the center candle of flame, the individual candles represent the individual lives before today. Now lighting this center candle, your two lives are now joined as one light and represents the joining together of your two families and your two sets of friends. Jessica Robert, now you will feel no rain for each one of you will shelter and be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold for each of you will be the warmth, the warmth of each other. Now you will feel no loneliness, for each one of you will be a companion to the other. Now, you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. I wish you now to go in peace, sharing all the most precious gifts you have, the gifts of your lives, and may the days of your lives on this earth be long, generous, happy, loving, and warm. By the power of the state of New York vested in me, I pronounce you, Man and a girl. Please kiss. <laughs> Bravo.